into this great country of ours, right? And we had this past week even Barack Hussein Obama, our president, attempting to shame the American people, attempting to shame Republicans, because uh, well, he says that they uh, that that we as Americans should not have a religious test. And there are those who say that we should take in Christians, Christian Syrians rather than Christian Muslims into this great country of ours. Last time I checked, Christians are not blowing stuff up in the Middle East. It's Muslims that are doing it, right? Not Christians. They are not the ones beheading people in the Middle East. They are not the ones strapping bombs to themselves in the Middle East, blowing up Jews and Christians, right? It's not the Christians that are doing it, it's the, it's the Muslims. But he says we should be ashamed of ourselves because we want a religious test. And when I hear folks say that, well, maybe we should just admit the Christians but not the Muslims. When I hear political leaders suggesting that there would be a religious test for which... person who's fleeing from a war-torn country is admitted? When some of those folks themselves come from families who benefited from protection when they were fleeing political persecution? That's shameful. It's shameful. And the way he says it, right? A religious test? Like, he doesn't have a religious test for Catholics. Like, he doesn't have a religious test for Christians, right? If you happen to be a Catholic in this country under Barack Hussein Obama, your freedom of religion has been reduced to the freedom of worship through the HHS mandate. Like, he doesn't have a religious test. If you are Catholic, you can't believe the way in which your church dictates that you must believe, right? Artificial contraception is a mortal sin. This is what we as Catholics understand, right? And have understood for 2,000 years, more than 2,000 years, we've understood that artificial contraception, the practice of artificial contraception, is intrinsically evil. It is a mortal sin. And yet here we have Barack Hussein Obama. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't, right? You can't believe that. And even if you do believe that, you are going to violate your religious conscience and you are going to supply artificial contraception to whoever wants it. And so there is a religious test. And that religious test happens to be, if you are Catholic, if you are Christian, to hell with you and your beliefs. That's the religious test. What do you mean there's no religious test, right? But he's talking about immigration, so let's stick to that. He's talking about these refugees, right? So let's stick to that. Makes it sound like we are being discriminatory, like we are just disgusting Americans not wanting to help these refugees, right? A religious test? The disgust is palpable in his tone. You know, mainstream Catholic media loves to talk about tone. <laughs> they love to talk about tone. Liberals, they, they love to talk about tone. They just they don't want to talk about ISIS's tone, right? But they want to talk about our tone. So let's talk about tone. Listen to that tone of Barack Hussein Obama when he says, uh, listen to his tone when he, when he says the word Christian, that we should take, should take in Christians. Listen to that. Well, maybe we should just admit the Christians, but not the Muslims. The Christians, right? Well, you should admit the Christians. <laughs> we should just admit the Christians in, but not, not the Muslims. And so, it's palpable, in my opinion, the disgust with the idea that there should be a religious test, right? In spite of the fact that he has his own religious test over there, right? Not only for Christians, but for conservatives, right? Politically, for conservatives, if you happen to be a conservative and you're looking for tax-exempt status, right? Barack Hussein Obama's IRS, they will deny 
that tax exempt status, right? And so uh, there's a, there's a test, right? There's a religious test. There's a conservative test. And if you happen to be conservative, if you happen to be Christian, then you need not apply as far as Barack Hussein Obama is concerned, right? But he's talking about this religious test. Like it's this, this awful thing. Except that it's part of federal law as it pertains to poli- uh, not poli- uh, well as it pertains to uh, refugee status if you if you're looking for asylum in this country and you want to be admitted into this country as a refugee there already is a religious test embedded in federal law and this is according to national review the executive branch is expressly required under federal law to take religion into account in determining who is granted asylum. Under the provision governing asylum, Section 1158 of Title VIII of the U.S. Code says that an alien applying for admission must establish that religion, among other things, was or will be at least one central reason for persecuting the applicant. Moreover, to qualify for asylum in the United States, the applicant must be a refugee, as defined by federal law. That definition is set forth in Section 1101, Section A, of the U.S. Code. The term refugee means any person who is outside any country of such person's nationality and who is unable or unwilling to return to that country because of persecution or a well-founded fear of persecution on account of religion, among other things. And so religion is already a religious test within federal law, within just federal law. And yet Barack Hussein Obama seems to believe that this is a novelty, that this is something that Republicans, these mean old discriminatory Republicans want to throw in there.